my life was just from the bed to the sofa, the sofa to the dinner table, back to the sofa and back to the bed. That's why I did my journey because I needed to prove to the world that you know what, no matter how bad you are, if you want it, you can do it. So basically my story started back in, uh, I wanna say January of 2019. So I, I went to the cardiologist, my leg was around my ankle area, it was getting kind of purple. And he tells me, hey, so I mean, if you keep on how you're doing, you're dead in two years. I was weighing at that time 431 pounds. I would shower every other day. I wouldn't tie my shoes. I couldn't tie my shoes. My wife had to tie my shoes for me. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I went to see a nutritionist. I would eat with a lot of anxiety. Just get the food and just pound and pounding. And you know, she's like, listen, why don't you try eating with chopsticks? I'm like, okay, <laughs> we'll give it a shot. So I started eating with chopsticks. It obviously slowed down the portions and it slowed down the speed of the food. So I would realize that I would get full faster because it gave time for the food to go up to the head and, and, and so that, you know, and like give you that signal that you're full. I started walking slow outside my neighborhood. I, I, I didn't want to go to the gym. I couldn't get on a treadmill. So I just walked one time around the neighborhood. Then I walked twice around the neighborhood. And then I just kept going like that, kept going until I said, okay, let me go to the gym. I realized I can do whatever I want. Whatever I put my mind to, like it's getting done, period. Start slow. If you get to a point where you're stuck, where you feel like you're discouraged, Find something a little bit more challenging that makes it fun. The idea here is to kill obesity. They can't just live off of chicken and broccoli their whole life. Like, there has to be options. So I got into YouTube and I, and I found recipes of how to do protein cakes, protein popsicles, protein pancakes, a bunch of little things. And I would, whatever they said to do, I'd cook it even stricter. So what they do is they put your before picture in a big screen in the back and you walk out. So as soon as you walk out, you hear the people going, oh my God. Like, I mean, I think even the competitors were like, no, that's, that's not you. That's why I did my journey because I needed to prove to the world that you know what, no matter how bad you are, if you want it, you can do it. Don't give up. You're worth a million. You're, you know, love yourself and just go for it. And don't stop and be patient. But one day you're going to wake up, you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and you're going to be like, oh my God.